Hi dear student, welcome to the classes. Uh, next continuation concept in the solution chapter, I am going to deal this in qualitative property. One thing dear student, I am going to this qualitative property in this pen and paper because this the, in this qualitative property there will be some qualitative property and their derivations are there. That all derivations everything will go with this pen and paper derivation because I uh, congested in my board. Okay. Uh, first I am going to mean what is mean by qualitative property? I want to understand this concept first. Uh, okay, see here, dear student. What is that qualitative property? For example, this is what solution is there. We know that the solution. The solution means the solution consists of what a solute plus a, a solvent. Solute plus a solvent. But in this, it forms the solution. Solution, right? But whenever the solution depends upon, the depends upon only the number of solute particle. Number of a solute particle. You see here, this solution, the property of a, a solution depends upon only the number of solute, number of solute particle. But not on the solvent, but not on the solvent and also not the nature of solute. Is solute nature magula only the number of solute particle if based on the number of solute particle we are uh, this property of this solution is called as what a qualitative property go for this i will give the definition okay you see this definition i will write here you see here dear student i given the definition of this qualitative property here the qualitative property are those which depends entirely upon the number of particles of solute dissolved in the known value of a given solvent and not at all on the nature of the uh, solute you see here the it does not depends upon nature of solute but it depends upon only the number of solute dissolved number of solute number of uh, solute dissolved dear student this is what uh, you see the qualitative property means the solution is there here if this solution depends upon only the uh, number of particle only the number of particle but not on the nature of this uh, uh, solute dear student not, not nature of this solute and also not nature of the this uh, solvent therefore this property of this solution is called as what a qualitative property then after the what are the application of this qualitative property there will be some application dear student the qualitative property why to it what is the useful what are the use of this qualitative property the qualitative property which helps to uh, finding these four things in your syllabus is there here the relative lowering of vapor pressure elevation of boiling point osmotic pressure and depression in the freezing point dear student we have to discuss and go the derivation one by one dear student in this session okay hi dear student you see the we we'll go for the next uh, qualitative property is relative lowering of vapor pressure what is mean by relative lowering of vapor pressure? The meaning itself is there here, student. Relative means a, there will be some uh, relative and so considerable in it. Lowering of vapor pressure. The vapor pressure of that uh, a solution will be lower, relatively lower. Means initially, for example, there will be initially. <coughs> I will write wait uh, one paper only. See here, dear student, relatively lowering. For example, the relevant solution is there here. For this solution having initially one 10 Pascal pressure is there. After relative lowering of paper pressure, the solution, the solution, the pressure, the whatever this uh, vapor pressure will be decreases to 8 Pascal. Here considerably, relatively it will be decreases. The lowering of this uh, uh, vapor pressure because of due to this qualitative property what is meant the, what is mean by this qualitative property will go for that definition you see here the addition of a non volatile solute to the solute to the solvent at a given temperature and pressure result to the lowering of vapor pressure of a solvent at the same time the chemical potential of a solvent is also decreases you see here dear student this is one solution <coughs> whenever this solution will be non volatile so go for this one non volatile solution is non volatile solution is there 
volatile solution is there whenever you adding to this solute whenever you're adding to this solute the whatever the lowering the boiling point of this solution or vapor pressure of this solute the solution will be decreases you see here the addition of a non volatile solute to the solvent in a solvent na e solvent na e solution solvent is a solute na solvent hakthirla hakana nen aktiti the vapor pressure of this solution will be decreases therefore you see here this vapor pressure decreases because of due to only number of solute particle right nodri ee vapor pressure yak kadime aitu number of particle solute particle hakana kadime aitu if number of particle may depend agit andre therefore this is called as what colligative property you nodri yavade one solution number of particle may depend agit andre colligative property karibekagit okay you see here in our solution here this solution depends upon number of particles right now we observed this the after adding the number of solute particle the boiling uh, vapor pressure of this solution will be decreases therefore it is called as what a colligative property okay go for the expression of this colligative pro relate to lowering of vapor pressure okay first one this is what our definition of this relate to lowering of vapor pressure then after that we are going for the <coughs> we know that I will, I will go with this marker we know that we know that from rolls law from a rolls law from rolls law what we know for example p1 solution equal to p1 not into x1 this is our one first equation we know this this is rolls law from this rolls law we can write that p1 divided by p1 not into x1 and also we know that x1 mole fraction of two solution x1 to x2 equal to 1 yes right therefore x1 equal to 1 minus x2 yes right therefore instead of x1 we will write 1 minus x2 therefore p1 minus p1 not equal to 1 minus x2 dear student this is what our equation 2 this is what our equation 2 then after that find the x2 x2 means what dear student x2 means this is one going to this side or this one going to this side therefore 1 minus p1 minus p1 not dear student 1 minus p1 not p1 minus p1 not we can write this one also like this x2 equal to x2 equal to take lcm p1 not minus p1 divided by p1 naught divided by p1 this is what equation 3 you see good students one more time we have to go for this we know that rolls law p1 equal to p1 naught into x1 initially we are taking a no problem solution will denote 1 a whatever it may be symbol there p1 equal to p1 naught divided by x1 <coughs> And next p1 divided by p1 not equal to x1 we know that the mole fraction of two solution is equal to sum of them equal to 1 x1 plus x2 equal to 1 therefore x1 equal to 1 minus x2 therefore instead of x1 we are substituting 1 minus x2 therefore <coughs> we know that this p1 divided by p1 not equal to 1 minus x2 therefore x2 equal to 1 minus p1 minus you see this x2 means this is going this side therefore x2 equal to 1 minus p1 divided by p1 naught x2 after taking lcm x2 equal to p1 naught minus p1 divided by p1 naught dear student <coughs> what this equation indicates this equation indicates that therefore this is known as this is called this is called a rolls law this is called what a rolls law a rolls law of uh, relative lowering of relative lowering of vapor pressure this is called this is called the equation 3 is called as what a uh, rolls law relative lowering of a uh, vapor pressure dear student then after that <coughs> we have to simplify this equation again we know that again we know that we know that 
x2 mole fraction x2 means what a mole fraction yes right x2 means what a mole fraction of the second solution how to write this x2 where uh, this number of moles equal to n2 yes right the number of mole the mole fraction of n2 how we are writing this mole fraction therefore a mole fraction a mole fraction the mole fraction of n2 mole fraction is n2 we will write like a n2 divided by uh, this x2 equal to a, n2 divided by n1 plus n sorry n1 plus n2 whenever we are writing mole fraction of x2 means this n2 divided by n1 plus n2 already I discussed what is mean by mole fraction the mole fraction of x2 equal to n2 divided by x n2 divided by n1 plus n2 dear student then after that without that this is what x2 and this is also x2 equation this is you go for this is equation 4 also compare equation 3 here 3 is there here 4 is there compare equation 3 and 4 from equation from equation from equation 3 and 4 from e 3 and 4 LHS is same therefore we have to compare this equation p1 naught minus p1 divided by p1 naught equal to n2 divided by n1 plus n2 you see this is what uh, uh, equation we have to simplify this equation again continue is there here what is that whenever this solute particle you see here see here dear student for a dilute solution if this equation is there after for dilute solution what happens the number of n2 is very very less than that of n1 therefore we neglect this n2 from this lower sum of these two therefore the p1 naught minus p1 divided by p1 naught equal to uh, n2 divided by n1 dear student then after that it's very very simple from this we are going that okay dear student uh, for dilute solution n2 is very very less than n1 therefore this equation this equation becomes this n n2 is very less means where this is negligible quantity therefore n2 by n1 remains this n2 by n1 then after that <coughs> i'll take this equation this phase is over let's you say i'll take this one this equations here continuation part i'll take here what is that p1 naught minus p1 divided by p1 naught equal to n2 divided by n1 okay then after that we know that number of moles how to count the, the number of atoms number of moles or number of atoms number of atoms that n equal to how to calculate this n mass divided by we know that the mass divided by molecular mass molecular mass therefore this is given by w divided by m w divided by m then for n1 for n1 w1 divided by m1 for n2 we know that w2 divided by m2 yes right therefore this is the equation what we given here the equation number 5 therefore this is the equation number 5 therefore substitute this n1 and n2 value in this equation 5 what it happens you see here the p1 naught minus p1 divided by p1 naught this n2 value means this one w2 divided by m2 divided by this one n1 means this one w1 divided by m1 this after simplification it gives to the w2 divided by m1 and next one uh, m2 w1 therefore the equation is becomes p1 naught minus p1 divided by p1 naught equal to w2 m1 and w2 w1 dear student whenever we are finding the molecular mass of the non-volatile solute non-volatile solute means where this is what m2 therefore your m2 here only m2 it will left this one this is what m2 okay this is what m2 therefore m2 is one day m2 back and therefore this is what w2 m1 divided by w1 this equal to p1 naught divided by p1 naught minus p1 this is what uh, our equation dear student to find the molecular mass of the solute non volatile solute dear student okay you see here this is what equation once again i will tell you the relative rolling of paper pressure what is mean by relative lowering of paper pressure 
the <coughs> on adding the non volatile solute the uh, vapor pressure of the pure solvent will be decreases relatively decreases means lowering therefore it is called as relative lowering of vapor pressure how to find this uh, molecular mass of the non volatile solute okay we know that rolls law p1 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 not into x1 therefore x1 equal to p1 divided by p1 not simplifications and next x1 plus x2 equal to 1 x1 here equal to 1 minus x2 substitute this one equation 2 therefore x2 equal to 1 minus p1 divided by p1 not therefore x2 equal to p1 not minus p1 divided by p1 not equation 3 then after that this is called as a rolls law of a relative lowering of vapor pressure then we know that the x2 equal to mole fraction of n2 the next one the mole fraction of x2 is given by n2 divided by n1 plus n2 it's very simple from equation 3 and 4 compare LHS is same then RHS P1 naught minus P1 divided by P1 naught equal to N2 divided by N1 plus N2 where for a dilute solution the number of N2 are very very small therefore N2 is very very less than that of N1 therefore this equation becomes this equation becomes P1 naught minus P1 divided by P1 naught equal to N2 divided by N1 then after that we know that the number of moles you see here this equation the number of atoms finding the formula then number of atoms equal to the mass divided by molecular mass m, m w1 divided by m1 w2 divided by m2 therefore to substitute all this value we are getting this equation where m2 molecular mass of non volatile solute non volatile solute therefore this is the equation of the uh, vapor pressure lowering of vapor pressure finding the formula okay uh, dear student after discussing all this uh, Quality property, I will go for the numerical problems. Okay, thank you for watching this one.